a new local business that you will love. Their business is called Those Pickle Ladies, and they're taking pickles to the next level with recipes that started all with the family. I'm joined in studio by Betty and Tracy Bishop to tell us more about Those Pickle Ladies. Good morning to you, ladies. Good morning. I hear you guys don't, you no longer are go going by Tracy and Betty because now you're just Those Pickle Ladies. Yeah, we don't have names anymore. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> which is a we good, enjoy it. Which is a great thing to have. Yeah, we love okay, it. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Those Pickle Ladies. It started all kind of with the family. Absolutely. It's my late grandmother's uh, recipe. She was from Texas, and that's why we have the little, you know, the, the Texas, Texas granny. Bag. There you go. That's right. <laughs> um, so granny made these for Christmas every year mm -hmm. as like gifts for, you know, my late grandfather's co-workers, whoever wanted them. We were always stuck with like delivering them, being like Christmas elves, and then after she Tracy, you were a delivery lady. You would go and deliver these. I would yeah. on Christmas Eve every year. <laughs> um, and after she passed away, we continued making them, and now and we now have it's a business. A business. <laughs> yeah. and, and that's great. You're you just opened in downtown Spartanburg on Union Street. Yes, sir. And uh, take us through the different types. I, I see the atomic one over there. I'm scared of that. I, I don't know if I want to try Don't that. let the name fool you. The atomic <laughs> is not as hot as it sounds. It's. All of our pickles are called fire and ice pickles, which is a variety. Okay. Some people get a little confused about So there's about a spectrum that. there. It's not like right. all like, one or the other. So let's start with Granny's recipe. This is, the best way I can describe it is it's similar to a bread and butter pickle, but a little bit more elegant. Um, I'll let you go ahead and try that, see what you think. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. I know. I'm Gran just kidding. I'm Gran just kidding. Granny knew what was up. Yeah, I love she Granny. Was awesome. That's great. Mm. And then I like a little kick. Uh, my mom used to tease me and say, you make them too hot. And I was like, well, not <laughs> Not so, really. I was like, well, all right, we have a company. Let's add on the Atomic. So that's what we got here. Would you like to try this one as well? Is it going to make me cry, Betty? No, this one will. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, this is our okay. super hot one. This I wanna, I'm going to I'm gonna bite the bullet and try the Atomic. It's like a three or a four. It's but if really, I start crying, please don't put this on YouTube, I, okay? I, I, I promise you it's not as hot as it sounds. It's like a three or a four on a heat level. Just a little zip. Not you know crying, what I mean? not crying. See? There you go. But now, now the, this is the moment. Not bad food. at all. Thank you. And then now this is the one that really packs the heat. And that's why we call them pickles de los muertos, which means pickles of the dead. Dia de los muertos. Si, señor. Si. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to get a bilingual episode today. <laughs> um, and uh, so we make this one with ghost chili peppers. And I've whipped up a little sandwich See, here. I may have to try that one off camera because I don't know. I may cry about it. It's not that hot. I mean, okay. I think you can handle it. Right. I mean, it's warm. I'm going to gonna go for it. Tell us where we can find, as I eat this, so I'm not the only one crying on TV. <laughs> tell us where we can find some of your pickles. Well, actually, we have a very exciting announcement that we've been waiting for your show to say that we have been uh, fortunate and we are partnering with Willie Taco on mm -hmm. East Main Street, downtown Spartanburg. They actually have a featured entree that you can go today. They're doing them. Okay. Um, it's a it's a brisket sandwich, which I love brisket, and like a house-made barbecue sauce, and it's got pimento cheese on it. It's got our ghost pickles on it, and I'm yeah. I'm not dying quite yet. Yeah, well, you tried the sandwich, right? I That's, did. That's the beautiful thing about this is really. Bread. Thank you for bread. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it makes up a little cheese. It cuts it down, and right. I still think it retains some of the integrity of the flavor. But they uh, they're doing all kinds of fun stuff at Willie Tucker. That is a perfect pickle. Thank I you. I love pickles. When I was a kid, I used to drink pickle juice. I don't understand. Oh, Maybe you guys it. need to come up with a drink. A Actually. Pickle. The Since atomic juice it. is amazing in a Bloody Mary. I'm not even kidding. It's amazing. But I mean, you're, they're pretty versatile. But also, um, just so you know, uh, we you can buy our pickles at the Green Zinnia next to Willie okay. Taco. Um, and we have a few more places. We're going to be working with the Hub City Farmers Market. We'll be there every Saturday. Keeping it local. That's that's we where are. I first saw your story. I was like, <laughs> at the market, and I don't have them on my show. That's a, that's a shame. So I had to invite you guys. Well, I'm sure that they would be thrilled to join you. They're right. great people. We yeah, actually, we've had them on. We have them on a lot of times because that's, that's what we we do here is support local. Well, we love it. And how it is. how cool is it, Tracy? I'm going to make you talk because uh, you uh, try, <laughs> she's trying to get away, but I'm not going to let her. Um, what does this mean to be able to have, you know, a family recipe that started as a family recipe now in a product that people are buying and enjoying? How important is it? It means the world. Yeah. It's a legacy from my mom and dad being from Texas. And mm -hmm. my mother, of course, did the first the Texan granny. Mm -hmm. Being from Texas, the grandkids called her granny. So that's how <laughs> it got its name. Yeah. And it's, then Betty Ann adapted the other two flavors, and it's really exciting. It, it's fun. It's wild. It's wild we, and we, crazy right now. A year ago, almost to the day, this was nothing but an idea I had in a phone call. She looked at me, because I, I was out of a job, <laughs> <laughs> and 
And I was like, Mom, we have a big Mom's problem. Mom's like, oh, you better find something. She was like, yeah, you she was like well, on the do you want to go sell arts and crafts? And I was like, no. And she was like, well, you know, we could always try and do the pickles. And I don't know what happened. It was like a, like a an Oprah aha. I was like, now that, that I can jive with. Don't you love the Oprah aha moments? The uh -huh. You guys did it, so I'm going to do the Oprah. You know how the Oprah does like the oh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna like do that Gail. to you, Tracy. Oh. See, look. <laughs> An idea that turned into a business. So now your your thing is to go and support this business so that you can continue sharing Granny's pickles all over the all over the upstate. Those pickle ladies, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And um, go eat some pickles. They're really delicious. Come, Come on back out, and see us soon. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome.